So today, the Women's uh, March of Washington is happening, and I'm surprised at the amount of people that are actually there. Uh, plenty of people are. Um, you know, plenty of people, including myself, were like, this isn't going to get a lot of people. Um, but, it, but it got more people than I expected would show up. I was like expecting like roughly around five, 50,000 people, but uh, there's more than that. Um, so anyway, um, not that these people are bad for rallying because they have every right to, but, but the people that are tweeting and Facebooking about this event are hypocritical in a lot of ways. I've seen Facebook posts by women and men who are attending, oh, men that don't, you know, um, attend this event are a disgrace to women, women that don't attend this event are a disgrace to women, shit like that. First of all, number one, you know, there are single parents and, and parents in general that have enough uh, uh, trouble making the ends meet. So don't be a pompous ass and, and say that they're a disgrace to womankind because they, they don't have the time and money to show up. That makes you look like a dick. That doesn't make you look like a compassionate person. That makes you look like an asshole. Um, uh, second thing, you know, um, um, here's a, you know, hypocritical quote from somebody. This is a day that will change us forever because we are together. No, people, you're, all of you are together. All of you are together because you agree on something. But if somebody disagrees with you, oh, you're this, you're that, get away from me, block, block, block on Facebook. This is what happens all the time with these hypocritical types of people. And also, uh, the same thing with Facebook and Twitter. If you're, you're keeping up with the, the, the tweets and the posts and all that, like I am, you know, you'll, you'll see shit like, uh, uh, the all lives of women matter. I agree. But... The hip hypocrisy of that is that if a woman who's pro-life, and there are plenty of women who are pro-life just as much as there are women who are pro-choice, as soon as a woman says, well, I think abortion is murder, which it's her opinion that she thinks that, uh, suddenly the woman gets uh, uh, slandered by saying, oh, you're part of the patriarchy. What patriarchy? In America... Tell me what's so patriarchal about it. Women have the right to vote, right to drive, right to go out without uh, covering themselves for their for their husband's pleasure, have the right to uh, uh, equal pay, have the right to uh, food stamps, just like men do, have the right to uh, um, having custody of children. Um, women have plenty of rights as men in America. What's so patriarchal about that? You want to talk about real pa uh, patriarchal in a real rape culture? Look at the Middle East. But yes, of course, a lot of these feminists today don't do that because the lives of women in the Middle East don't matter, apparently. But yet, on average, we're bom bombing brown people like crazy, and that includes women who are single mothers and pregnant. Yeah, we're, we're bombing pregnant women in the Middle East, and we're killing them. Doesn't that make you feel disgusted in your gut? It makes me feel disgusting in my gut. And, and also in the Middle East, marital rape is okay. In America, it is not. Rapists go away for it. But in the Middle East, it's the right to a man to rape his wife. But yet, feminists aren't talking about that. It's, a, it's sheer hypocrisy. Now that I'm saying the march doesn't matter, you know what? Like every other movement march, it does matter. But there comes a time when the rhetoric blinds the, 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 the attendees so much that the message goes upon deaf ears where people know what, what, why the issues are important, but when the facts are so skewed and people aren't, you know, uh, uh, are, are just shouting rhetoric instead of actual facts and logic and reason, people will tune their ears out. And inevitably, this is going... Not that I'm saying that this is not going to have any effect. By all means, it will. But some people, including women, have been saying that this is a waste of time. Uh, today alone, I am not 
kidding you. Uh, today, on Twitter, on Facebook, there are women and men saying, this is a waste of time, this is a waste of time, this isn't going to accomplish anything, nothing's going to change. Now, are they right? Both sides are right. Or the side that's saying nothing's going to change, yeah, they're correct. Yeah, nothing will change. But the side that, that's protesting also has a point, though. But the reason why I'm bringing all this up is because we have separated ourselves so much in society that we would rather, we would rather... Uh, uh, make everything black and white instead of seeing the gray areas that actually do exist. Um, John Stewart doesn't comment about politics as much anymore because he's so sick and tired of liberals and conservatives ignoring each other. It, like, literally, conservatives and liberals have valid talking points, and John Stewart has said this many times. Conservatives have valid talking points and liberals have valid talking points. But when liberals and conservatives, you know, instead of listening to each other, fight to the death of which rhetoric sounds better for society, nothing will change. Nothing will ever change. And, uh, it, it, it will inevitably fall apart and die just like every other uh, 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 rhetoric or... or um, peaceful speech that was ever spoke before. Um, uh, John Stewart is one of many, like myself included, who believes that we as Americans failed Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on, on when he said, I, this, I have a dream speech that, that the brotherhood of man will become reality in this day and this age, that my four children will live in, in a, a country where uh, they won't be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of the character, you know that. Um... You know, John Stewart and I collectively agree that we failed him on that. Uh, we, we divide each other so much in society that we inevitably socially segregated ourselves. And the wh reason why I say socially segregated, because segregation laws are illegal. But we socially segregated ourselves to the point where, you know, uh, people who are black, White and Hispanic don't want to work with each other. People that are men and women don't want to work with each other. Gay and straight people don't want to work with each other. It's one disastrous snowball effect. I forget who said it, but um, somebody said America, uh, the Western world, that includes Canada as well, uh, we're on the verge of collapse. We're going to, you know, fall like Rome did uh, because of ignorance, arrogance, and, and complete uh, uh, lawlessness. Those three things together uh, are basically going to crumble uh, the Western civilization. Anyway, I wanted to do a video on this because uh, there was sh there, there, there was the, the, the impressive mountain number that people showed up at the women's rally, but at the same time, the sheer number of hypocrisy from some of the people that were there at the same time as well. Uh, even if I had the time and money to go to this thing, would I go to it? No. You know what I would do? I would volunteer my time, my time, to help women in the Middle East. I would volunteer my time to do that. Why? Because women in the Middle East have no rights whatsoever. Women in the Middle East have no rights whatsoever. I would rather volunteer my time to help that problem. Anyway, that's the video. See you guys.